Before we start the first panel, uh, I would, uh, <coughs> would uh, again welcome you to Iceland. Uh, most of you were attending the reception in Höfði, the government's uh, or the municipality's uh, reception house. Now, we are now in the what we call the National Heritage House here. This used to be a library, and uh, I can testify that this was one of the were a house with the deepest silence you could ever find. You know, I, we sat here and read our books, and nobody dared say a word. But this house is not going to be silent today. We are uh, going to talk together, and hence the name Round Table, the Round Table Discussion. And as it was outlined yesterday, uh, the main theme, the basic concept we are basing our discussion on is the notion that on the one hand we have good intentions, we have uh, commitments and conventions on human rights on the one side, and then on the other uh, there is the harsh uh, reality of power politics. And uh, we are all engaged in finding ways of bridging this ever-widening gap between these two. That's the basic idea. Now we are gathering here from many angles. There are academics, there are politicians, there are uh, people from the labor unions and NGOs, uh, and, uh, and uh, we, are, we are focusing on this basic theme from very different uh, angles. Now, we have uh, divided the discussion today into uh, panels, and uh, we have decided that the panel shall always be sitting here, uh, but then, of course, we can all, all, all uh, uh, take part in the discussion as we like. Now, the, 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 the schedule is rather tight, and I think the best idea is that we all take part in making it uh, run smoothly. There are no strict timekeepers except all of us. We all contribute to doing that. So the idea is to have these interventions and then open for discussion if there is time to do that. 